Good morning, Leo, and welcome to my channel. This is the uh, Oracle of Soraya Utsanaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of May the 5th to the 11th, 2024. I've already cut your decks, and I've shuffled them all nine times each, utilizing the numerology of the date 0505-2024. So why don't we dive right in? Okay, Leo, Leo, Leo. We are starting the week off here with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, the Five of Pentacles can um, illustrate feelings of um, feeling left out in the cold or having some period of hardship or maybe you're, you're been working really hard to make ends meet, um, feeling that perhaps uh, opportunities have been sliding by you, uh, feeling like you've left out, being left out in the cold. Okay. Now, the thing with this five of pentacles is that there is sanctuary inside the building, but they are too engulfed in their situation to see opportunities that are around them. So be mindful of getting too engulfed in your emotions of victimhood or if things haven't been working out for you, okay? Um, because that self-wallowing um, emotion can uh, impede on your ability to actually see opportunities that the universe is giving you that are all around you because you're too focused on things not working out in your favor, okay? Now, when you're in situations like this, this also is the card that's telling you uh, not to focus on your weaknesses. Okay, you see here there is a leper, and in the times of the tarot, when leprosy was more predominant, uh, people that had leprosy, so it's kind of like a flesh-eating disease, like um, you would, they would need, and it was contagious, I believe. So people would need to. Um, wear bells around their necks when they are going into the community to warn people of their uh, them approaching so that people can stay away from them. Okay, so don't focus on your weaknesses because that is just going to lower your vibration even more. Focus on your strengths and focus on what you have, what, what you're strong at, what your skills are and, and how you can utilize them to get yourself out of this situation. Okay. And, you know, uh, what, I, what I'm getting here is that, like, if you're focusing on your weaknesses and focusing on your situation and how dire it is or how sucky it is, uh, it's going to slow you down. You see how this gentleman, he's on crutches here, and this lady, she could be moving a lot faster if he wasn't with her. Okay, so are there habits, are there, are there ways of thinking, are there people in your life that perhaps are lowering your vibrational frequency and impeding on your ability to move forward? Maybe they're feeding into this um, situation of um, keep, in keeping you in this frame of mind of lack and uh, things are not working out for you and you're never going to get better. That's toxic, right? So you want to try to uh, break free of any of these uh, limiting beliefs or people or situations in your life, okay? Uh, so that you can move forward and and get out of this uh, low vibrational depressive way of thinking that is clouding your ability to see that there's actually opportunities in the sanctuary right on the other side, okay? All right, because when you do that... <laughs> you're gonna have a new financial opportunity coming in. It's gonna be a gift from the universe, but you have to be in alignment with that frequency, okay? So everything is vibrational frequency. And when you are in a mind frame of lack and focusing on things that you don't have and saying that other people have it better than you and that nothing's ever gonna work out and you're always gonna be stuck and this is everyone else's fault, then you're gonna be attracting more of that. But once you start seeing the opportunities around you and being grateful for things, even the smallest things in your life, okay? So when I was depressed a long time ago, this is like, it's like, it's like a way to retrain your thinking. You have to brainwash yourself to think a different way, rewire your mind. Okay, this is a way that cognitive behavioral therapy works, but it's also a way like of, even if you don't believe it in the beginning, 
okay? You say, I am wealthy, I am abundant, I can pay all my bills on time and I have more money to left over than I, than I need. And I have everything that I have more, I have enough money to buy all the things that I need and want and still have money left over at the end of the month. Money is a magnet to me, I am wealthy, I already have everything I need, I'm healthy, I have food. Like you just say these things to yourself in the mirror or when you're walking on your way to work in your car and you're rewiring your, your brain and your body, your body is cells they in your body is made out of water and water holds information and it holds vibrational frequency and thought okay so you want to start rewiring the way you think because if you say this every day you're you're going to start believing it you say i'm powerful i can do whatever i i i'm very i'm very skilled i have x y and z i'm very good at Okay, and then you're going to start focusing, your focus is going to be rewired. And once you become in alignment with the frequency, um, you're, that's when you're going to start magn uh, magnetizing more opportunities into your life and more blessings into your life because uh, things attract to the, like attracts like. So you want to be at the vibrational frequency of what it is that you would like to attain because it is already yours, right? Okay, so the the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning of some sort of financial chapter in your life. You're leaving this life behind, and now you're moving forward towards the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe it's a new job, maybe it's a hobby or a side hustle that you have been thinking about doing, you're thinking outside of the box as to how you can make more money. Maybe there are some investments that are coming in that are proving to be fruitful. Okay, but whatever it is, this is a new chapter in your life that is coming in as a blessing because you are vibrating at a higher frequency because you're not focusing on lack. You're focusing all the abundance in, in your life. Okay. <clears throat> So this is like, can be a little portal here as well, but this can also signify weddings or something to celebrate as well. Okay, but there is a gift from the universe that is coming to you. But you start, you have to start focusing on your, your strengths and everything that is going well in your life and magnetizing that and magnifying that. Okay. Utilize the energy of this Taurus we're in the middle of Taurus season right now until I believe May the 20th. <clears throat> the Jupiter Taurus, uh, Jupiter and Uranus conjunction in Taurus, a lot of earthy energy here. So tap into that energy, Leo. Become, um, focus on your resources and see how resourceful you can get. Tap into the energy of like the Queen of Pentacles, uh, thinking outside of the box as to how you can establish that stability and the foundation for the rest of your life, okay? And with the, uh, I don't know, oh, okay, so <laughs> this is pre-Empress energy. Okay, so we have the, we're leaving the Five of Pentacles behind. We are moving towards the Ace of Pentacles, this blessing coming in for us. And then we are stepping into this pre-Empress energy of the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles is a card that focus, focuses on her self-reliance. Okay, I don't really do love readings, um, and a lot of people can, it, uh, this card can signify to people that um, this is a single person, okay? But I like to focus more on personal development, um, so um, I, I'm not getting that vibe at all, okay? This is about self-reliance and how you can take care of yourself moving forward. Okay, where are you going to be putting the money? How are you going to be uh, organizing your money so that it can make more money? And, you, and how is it going to increase in your self-reliance? Okay, this is a really interesting, awesome reading. Uh, it's all about your wealth and your resources, okay? Now, she ha like so she's focusing on what she is good at. She's focusing on her strength, okay? Wine grapes take a specific environment and specific skill to grow them. Okay, so she has focused. See how there's a falcon here on her arm? She's honing her focus and she is, um, she's really strengthening her focus so that she uh, develops the skill that she is good at. 
whatever it is for you, Leo. It's going to be different for everybody. But what is it that you're good at that you can really hone in on that you can start making more money on with? Focusing on your strengths. It's going to be proved to be very fruitful. Start thinking outside of the box. How can you utilize your strengths? Can you make a vid can you make YouTube videos? Like my boyfriend was going to be starting to make new video. Uh, he's uh, normally he's a heavy machine operator. And he is looking to start making some extra money doing videos, doing woodworking and building furniture. So, um, and maybe in doing some uh, research with your investments and whatnot. Okay, so how can you make your money make more money? Okay, and focusing on your strengths and how you can utilize them and tap into them to grow your resources. Now, she also has nine pentacles here. And she is uh, always keeps six for herself, but she's always willing and able to give three. And that is not selfish. She doesn't even have to give three, but she's more than willing and able to help out friends and her community as well, because she knows that there has been sanctuary when she was in need. So she is always willing to help out people when she feels that they deserve it. Okay. I'm getting this as well. So just be mindful that uh, Amer in America and in Canada, they're, they're trying to pass their bills with new capital gains taxes. Uh, so where they want to take two thirds of wealthy like entrepreneurs uh, money uh, as taxes. So that would mean instead of keeping this six, she would get to keep the three and they would take the six. And that's in Canada, that's a 66% tax. And then in America, they want to do like a 45% capital gain tax. So be mindful of these things, do your research and um, of all of the uh, other uh, fine print with respects to things moving forward. If you're going into entrepreneurship, make sure you talk to an accountant and stuff like that so that you don't have to pay taxes all at once at the, because you weren't uh, being deducted by your paycheck because you were making money on your own. So just keep that in, kind of stuff in mind, okay? Maybe you need to put stuff aside um, in a separate account every time you get paid every month in your own business to be to mitigate um, having to come up with the money all at once during tax season. I just gave that. Okay. All right. Um, with the five of pentacles, we have the queen of swords. Okay. So like I had mentioned before, with respects to being depressed or being in a low vibrational state of lack and, um, and victimhood, okay uh you the clouds are starting to clear up now before she, the queen of of swords was in amidst the clouds and it was clouding her vision so all of those low vibrational thoughts of lack of victimhood of things not working out uh they, they were clouding your vision which was clouding your ability to tap into your full potential so now you now you're able to see clearly you're moving past this and you are focusing on raising your vibration and this is allowing you to see more clearly okay and anything that had made you think this way before if it was trauma the way that you grew up or some other challenges maybe you lost your job and you just got into depression okay utilize this to your advantage moving forward Okay, the queen here, she's always, she's still guarding herself. She's, but she's utilizing the things that were trials and tribulations and the traumas in her life. She has transmuted them into something that can work for her. It fuels her. And now she has more solid boundaries. Okay, she doesn't let things um, control her life, be it people, situations, employment. Uh, extra, she, she has an internal locus of control, not an external locus of control, okay? She doesn't let other, she's more in control of her own life than, than the external world, okay? But she's, despite her past trials and tribulations, and she's established these firm boundaries now, and she protects herself from, from getting left out in the cold, okay? But she's still open and, uh, and open to receive gifts and blessings from the universe and opportunities. Okay, so don't let bad things that have happened to you impede on your ability to be successful in life. Use them to fuel you, to give you motivation and initiative to move forward and to create something that is going to be very fruitful for you. Okay. With the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, we have the King of Wands. 
okay? So uh, he's bold. He is assertive. You're tapping into the, the fire energy, Leo, who you are truly meant to be. We have the lions here, okay? And he is protected from risk. I think you're being encouraged to pursue something uh, outside of what you're normally used to doing and to make more money. And this is going to be a blessing. It's a new start. It's a new chapter. And it's going to establish yourself to be a lot more self-reliant. But you need to be bold. You need to be assertive. You need to go after what you want. This king is a good uh, king with respects to being good at business. Okay, and he is protected from risk with this salamander here. So you're being encouraged to go after whatever it is. If it's a project, if it's a hobby, if it's a new business endeavor, if it's an entrepreneurial ship, you need to go after it or asking for a raise, do it. And with the nine of pentacles, we have the chariot. So move forward, moving energy now. Okay, we are not stuck. We're not left out in the cold. We are moving forward. We are co-creating with the universe. The, the guy in the chariot here has the magician's wand. He knows he is one with the universe. He has the universe at his crown. He has the universe in his canopy here. And so you are creating this life that you want with your vibrational frequency. He's leading with his heart, just like Leo does. Okay, and then he, there's no reins here. You've integrated the shadow and the light part of your of, of yourself. Okay, um, you've, inter, you, you've dealt with the emotions of depression, of lack, and you are now transmuting them into something positive that is going to work for you, right? Like the queen of swords, right? You created boundaries, you've transmuted your emotions, and now you're able to see clearly and you're open to receiving from the universe. There's a lot of forward moving momentum. You are leaving your old life behind and you are moving forward. And this is a blessing from the universe. Okay, very awesome reading. I dig it. All right, so we're gonna end off the uh, the reading here with a, a card, a positive affirmation card. This will be our motto for the week, Leo. Uh, this is from Lewis Hayes' I Can Do It deck. And so one, uh, one side of the card says here, I see the world through eyes of love and acceptance. All is well with my world, right? So this is, this is like retraining your mind, right? So that's that side there. And then we have, I am loved and, ex and accepted exactly as I am right here and right now. Okay. All is well with your world. Um, if this resonated with you, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I am truly grateful for your energy. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you have a wonderful week, Leo. See you next time. Bye.